Ayindale. And at the age of six months, the child became critically ill with a leg, a fainting and the dog. And the doctors were very, very concerned what's going to happen here. The Rabbi Lai tells, Rabbi Lau tells his daughter, I want you to go to New York, take the baby with you, and go to the Rebbe, and ask the Rebbe for a brother. So the Rebbe is allowed, Rabbi Lau's wife, with her daughter and the baby, came to New York. They came on mine Sunday, and the Rebbe gives them each a dollar. And then the Rebbe takes another dollar, and he gives it to the mother of this child. And he says, I am making you a Shalia, that at the night of the celebration of this child's bar mitzvah, that's when you should give him this dollar. They hear the doctor say, we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. They hear the Rebbe said, there's going to be a bar mitzvah, and make sure. He came the night of the bar mitzvah, Rabbi Lau got up, and he called this mice. And then he said, he called up his daughter, who held the daughter that that were all the years. And he said, now the Rebbe said that Bishas the Sudi, Bishas the Mirbun the Fabrizi, I'm making you a Shulia to give your son a dollar. She took out the dollar of her pocketbook, and she gave it to her son to bow mix with. Thirteen years before Bishas the Fabrizi, the doctors who were trying to say, Hush, 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 the Rebbe didn't say a word. He didn't say it's going to be gesund. He didn't send on gesund to the doctor. And matter of fact, it was so simple and so positive and so matter of fact by the Rebbe that this child is going to be by mitzvah and be gesund and he'll be able to get the down. Again, it was on the Sunday, you know, the Rebbe used to have people come and take dollars. One Sunday, a father and a mother and a three-year-old boy come to the Rebbe. The mother tells the Rebbe that he's three years old and he cannot say one word. He doesn't say anything. The Rebbe asked to bring him closer to him. The Rebbe bent over. So the Rebbe says to this young child, Say Shema. He said Shema. Yisroel, Yisroel. Hashem, Hashem. Elikeinu, Elikeinu. Hashem, 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 Echo. The Rebbe thinks and stands up. He says to the mother and the father, Why do you say he can't speak? He just heard him say a whole person. The mother started to cry. He says, Rebbe, since he was born, it's the first time that we hear him say something. And the Rebbe, I was thinking, which was my side, saw the thing taking place. And the Rebbe tells the parents, Take the child home. First, he'll start saying words. Then we'll start saying sentences, and then we'll say paragraphs, and after a week's time, we'll start speaking as a regular child. Ten days later, the father calls me, and says, tell the Rebbe, this is exactly what happened. Now the child, speaks like a regular child. Huh? He won't shut up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another situation, there came with a four-year-old boy, and the father was holding him. And the Rebbe went like this. He said that this child, since he's born, is not able not only to walk, he's not able to stand. We went to very big orthopedic professors, and one of them told us that the way it looks, I don't think that this person, this child will ever be able to stand on his feet. And he came to the Rebbe to get a broker. I was there with some nice and I had to tell you what happened. The Rebbe gave the parents a dollar and they gave the mother a dollar. Then the Rebbe takes another dollar and he hands it to the child. And while the Rebbe is still holding the dollar, the Rebbe puts his face into the child's face and the Rebbe points his finger at him and he says, I hear you, undo this unhaven game and you will start walking. That's what the Rebbe told me. The parents were amazed. They live now on, on Eastern Park in Brooklyn, uh, Brooklyn Avenue, the big apartment house. Two weeks after this happened, the father came to the office and told me, tell the Rebbe. The next morning, when my wife came in to his room, all day was four years old and was sleeping in the crib. For the first time, she saw him standing and holding on to the wall of the crib. 
She couldn't believe what she saw. She picked him up and she laid him down again. She went out of the room. Ten minutes later, she comes back, says the father, again, he's standing on his own, holding on to the wall. He, she takes him out of the crib and puts him down and holds him with her two fingers. And he's standing, he said, I have his own cake. The next day she took him down and he told him, make a step. He made one step, another step, another step. The next day she took him out again. And as she's holding him, the child rips himself away from his mother's hands and he starts walking over back in the room. A day later he started to run, like every normal child. After two weeks, they took the child and went back to this first of the team of the team doctor that tried to prophesy Kafka Kaf. And the child is running around in the office and had a hand. So the parents tell the doctor, this is the child that you try to prophesy and say will never be able to stand and able to walk. The doctor said it's not him, it's impossible. So they told me, you know what? Take an x-ray and compare it to the x-ray of four years ago to see if it's the same body, the same thing. He made the x-ray. And he sees his mom is the same child. He asked him, what did you do? He said, we didn't do anything. He went to the Obama Shereba and gave us a broth. And he promised that the child is starting to walk. So he sees not only walking, he's running around. But what's itself with these smarter tongues, my friend? Again, again. We're not making the Reverend Haley kids. We're not making him greater. That's the evil of that. As, as the Reverend Reb writes in the Get in, in Shari Yichud Ramunu, when we see something, as we see every day in, in Dublin, what did they see? They saw Kriyas Yamsu. They saw a Indian, contrary to the whole Indian of nature. A water is supposed to be flowing, and here's needs with the name, the standings of water, and the water is not moving. The water was able to, the Yamsu was able to split that they should be able to walk on dry land. What was the result of that? By Yaminu Bahashem Uba Mesha Abdul. This helped them that they should have more emuna upon the Torah. They should have more emuna in Mesha Rabbeinu because they actually saw that they're able to reveal such a Lukus Bahayim. And everything we know the Bashem teaches us is Bashgotha Protis. Everything is designed by the Torah. Every move, everything that we have. The fact that Gimel Thomas usually comes together with Pasha Shukas, and we are sitting now by a bringing of Pasha Shukas, so today is Tuesday. We know that every day we learn a Shin, a Shin of Kunish, which means Rashi. On Thursday, we're going to learn the Shir of Hamishi. How does the Shir of Hamishi start? By Yidabel Ho'om Ve'elikim Uvumbeishen. The people spoke against what was their complaint? Why didn't you take us out of the so beautiful land of Israel from one with one and come for couple? What does Rashi mean from Hazal on the word well the king of Malaysia writes Rashi Nishful ever declaimed. They compared the servant, Mesha Rabbeinu. On the word hell in Sunu, Rashi writes, Shnei Hem Shobin. All the Mephoshim asked the Shailah, the, the Chazal already said he should have a decree that he compared Mesha Ben to God in Bosch. What is Rashi? Why are the Chazal adding and Rashi brings it down? Hell is Sunu Shnei Hem Shobin. Says the Rebbe, there's a big, big difference between the two Perushim. When you compare two things, they are two separate entities, two separate individuals. But we could find similarities. We could find certain ionic, certain components, certain things that are taking place that, that the, the, the master has and the servant has. But basically, they're two separate things. When it says, Hail the Son of Shneim Shomim, what is the Chazal telling us? That they should have been. And what is the is one thing. As they shaped in Medrash, as it was the greatest ever, that the Hazal and other goes, Shnei and Shobu. But he has questions I had, I knew about the Hazal, Meisha Emes, Mitei Rossi Emes. 
And the Rebbe says that being a Peter's Rashi is Judas from Victor, even for a five-year-old child. The Rashi is telling a five-year-old child, the Vils Disney want to know who is Baisha Rabbeinu. Not only he should have the coin, that he's a separate entity of the Goddess Bokho. You should know, Shadeni and Shogun, that it's one thing. And God is Bokho and Moshe, versus Ein Zach. You can't separate between the two. You don't have to look for some similarities, because it's Mamish Ein Zach, and that's what the Chazal tells us. Comes the Zoyab, according to Shachimba by Yehoi, and tells us, it's Pashtusa the Moshe Bokol Doro. In every generation, there is a tzaddik who has a spark, a nitzutz, of the neshama from Meishe Rabbeinu, and he is the Meishe Rabbeinu of that generation. And based upon this, we understand that all the qualities and all the, these ideas that we speak about, what the Chazal tells us, what is Meishe Rabbeinu, that refers to every Meishe Rabbeinu in every generation, because nitzutz. And the Mitzvah Gordon says, Kisha at the table is the Mitzvah, so at the table is the movie. When you hold something, just the tip of it, you're actually holding the whole thing, right? Are you? you can pick up the whole thing. You're not to go like this to pick it up. You have part of it, you have the whole thing. Says the Mitzvah Gordon, Kisha at the table is the Mitzvah. If you hold only part of it, you have the whole thing. As it says in Sidney, you take an apple. You chop it up in tiny, tiny pieces. Every piece of that apple possesses all the minerals. Everything that the apple has possessed as a complete apple. Once the balance part of the apple, you start to take it and make sure you have the whole thing. Although, there has been said that a nitsus is only a spark of the neshoma, but being that we have this principle, he shall take us from it so she has to take this before him. That means that every tzaddik who is that has a spark of Meisha Rabbeinu, he has not only the spark, he has the entire shomer called the Rav Sadi Goyim. He has the guns and the shomer from Meisha Rabbeinu. But mainly, what does this have to tell us? That just like the Rambam says a very interesting thing, and the Rebbe has a very interesting piece on this. The Rambam starts to say to when he was to say the Yatayim. You understand the foundations on what the whole trade is based on and what that means for us. And one of the problems, take this with the K, the case, I'm not sure what it is, the Rambam dwells what is our relation to the Meshur Rabbeinu and what, how do we have to so I'm saying, respond to Meshur Rabbeinu. And the Rambam says that being that it says in Pastor's history, we pull not in Taylor. I'm coming to you in the, de in the de deep of the cloud. The people will hear that from that cloud I am speaking to you. As a result of that, is the Gamba Chom Yamin that will cause that the Yidin should have a moon. A moon means something goes above logic, above the sense, above understanding. He will have a moon. They are spotting the right, the clothing, the, the generalities, how the Raman goes and says it. And one of the clothing, it says Yad Malachi, that's a statement that writes about Yidin's spotting. And then the Rambam gives all the call and the generalities how the Rambam composed, composed this sacred. And one of the things that the Yamalachi writes, that when the Rambam wants to quote something from the Taylor to prove the point that he's saying, he chooses the first parsley that speaks about this idea. So the Rambam asks a very simple question. It's just the Rambam wants to write to us that we have to have a moon in Meishon Rabbeinu before the process of Pasha Yisrael, is Pasha Bishala. What is saying Pasha Bishala, which we just mentioned, by Yaminu Bashem, Uva Mesha Abli. So the Khair, according to the cloud of the Rambam, why does he leave the Pasha Bishala and take the blessing after which is Yisrael, which is his contrary to his cloud? Says the Rebbe, that's not Islam of Pasha Bishala. With this, the Rambam is teaching us another lesson. What is the idea? 
What is the reason why we believe in Mesut Abayim? What does it say in Pasuk Yisrael? By Yah Yisrael and Yisrael like they were, they saw all the miracles, and that caused them to have a moon. What says in Pasuk Yisrael? They show me your own betabri imam. Doesn't speak about miracles. It doesn't speak about these kind of glories. It just says one thing: that the people will see that you are an individual as Rashi being taken chazal. To the extent that Hazal say, Shechina medaberes metaygrein shol Moshe. When Moshe speak, it's not he speaking on the Hazal. The Shechina, he the amplifier through which Hakadosh Baruch Hu is. Speaking to us, extra level is what the number wants to make us understand. You don't believe in Moshe Rabbeinu because he makes miracles. Oysters from Moshe, the other We don't have to have oysters from Moshe about the God in Baruch We don't have oysters about Moshe Rabbeinu. We have to know that Moshe Rabbeinu is repeating to us and to giving over to us words of the God in Baruch We show me on the Dabri and as we just went in I think it passed it when there was a Magaif over there and the Mesha Rabbeinu sent 